now we will see types of sets there are various type of sets so the first slide contains empty set singleton set finite set and infinite set so let's understand what is empty set when there are no elements in a set it is known as empty set or null set and it is denoted like this you can see the bracket there is nothing written here or void set it can be termed like this also let's take one example if x is an element of natural number and x lies between 1 and 2 now you know that from natural number 1 to infinite if we talk about what will come between 1 and 2 so there are no numbers which lies between 1 and 2 no natural numbers so here number of elements in a is 0 there are no values hence it will be known as empty set so take, take one more example if we say write whole numbers less than 0 are there any whole numbers less than 0 no so when that will be empty set then singleton set now when there is only one single element in a set that is known as singleton set for example let a be the set of all integers which are neither positive nor negative so there is only one number which is not positive or not negative that is zero so your a is equal to zero only one element is there here so your answer here is one hence it is singleton set or we can take one more example if we talk about even prime number so which number is even plus prime in the entire number system there is only one number that is even prime that is two so here the number of elements in the set will be one only as there is only one answer then there is finite set finite set means which we can count and which can come to an end for example this set of letters in the word beautiful so write all the letters which contain here like b is there e a u i t then f l so don't write u again and again because u comes two times here so write only one times how many elements are there total eight elements as you can count it easily and it came to an end hence it is known as finite set then there is infinite means the counting will go on and on continuously there is no end like like set of natural numbers set of even numbers set of prime numbers now we are not talking when they will end i'm not saying that set of even numbers until 100 so that is finite but if i say set of even numbers so there is no end given here so it is finite infinite set then further there is equality of sets then equivalent set subset superset proper set so let's understand this first is equality of sets two sets are said to be equal if they contain the same elements now there are two two set a b and all the values of a are there in b and all the value of b are there in a so it will be known as equality of set when a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a that is known as equality of sets then there is equivalent set two finite sets a and b are said to be equivalent if number of elements in a is equal to number of elements in b here we are talking about number of elements how many elements are there in a set we are not talking whether all the elements are same or not we are just talking about number of elements so if a consists four elements and b consists four elements irrespective of their types or variations if the numbers of elements are same then they are known as equivalent sets then subset a set a is said to be subset of b means a is known as a part of b if every element of a is also an element of b if all the elements of a comes in all the elements of b then a will be regarded as subset of b for example if in a there are some numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 and in b there are the same numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but 1 2 3 4 5 is there means a is a subset of b then there is superset if a is a subset of b 
then this b part is known as superset means maximum values will be there in b a is a part is a subset of b and b will contain different values and hence it is known as superset then what is proper set a non empty set a is said to be a proper set of the set b if all elements of a are in the set b and at least one element of b is not in a let's take one example and understand if a has some values like 2 4 6 b b is having 2 4 6 8 so here yeah, every element of a is an element of b but a is not equal to b why because number of elements are not equal here but a is a proper subset of b as all the values of a are there in b then there is universal set all sets under consideration are subset of a set say u then u is a universal set now universal set will contain all the elements entire part for example if there are different sets like set a set b set a consist 1 2 3 4 set b consist 5 6 7 8 then the combination of everything will be known as universal set so here a non empty set of which all the sets under consideration are subset is called a universal set for example if we talk about natural numbers then all natural numbers can be taken as universal set then if there are some values like a a is having value 1 2 3 4 b is having 5 6 7 8 and there is one more c c is having 10 11 12 13 14 13. so here all these numbers which are there in a b c are the part of natural numbers and that natural numbers is a universal set here then there is power set the set of all subsets of a given set a is called the power set of a and is denoted by pa thus every element of power set a is a set for example consider the set a is equal to ab for example if in a there is like abc then pa will be like null and a then b will be there then c then we can make the combination of like ab bc ac then abc so how many combinations we can make that will come here remember one thing if a contains number of elements then the power set of a that is pa contains second elements so such set are useful when we are doing some various type of combinations or various type of probabilities now we will see operations on sets